In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a variety of pens to shade a drawing using a few different shading techniques. I have a 0 .005, 0 .0103, 0 .05, and a 07, but I only end up using the three smallest pens. I'm using a reference image that I found on a copyright free photo website. I'll start by drawing in pencil. As I draw the tree, I'm using the image for inspiration, but I'm not agonizing over matching every detail. If I drew the tree without a reference image, it may end up looking cartoonish, but I can follow the basic patterns of this tree to make my drawing look more realistic. This tree follows a bit of a formula. The trunk is the thickest part, and as it grows upward and splits into branches, the branches gradually become thinner. I'm blocking in some of the thickest branches in pencil, but I'll add the majority of them with pen. Now that I have a decent structure blocked in with pencil, I'm ready for pen. I'll start with a smaller pen because it's much easier to make the values darker than it is to try to make them lighter. Pen is what we call an unforgiving media. So I'm starting with a .005. Down here where the grass overlaps the trunk, the value of the grass is much lighter than the trunk. So I'm starting by stippling here very tentatively. I'll also go ahead and add these branches down here at the base of the trunk. I'm switching to a point zero 0.01 and I'm going to work on the trunk using a combination of hatching and cross-hatching. It looks like the light is coming from the right, so the left hand side of the trunk and the thicker branches are darker in value. The branches get thinner as they move out. I'm not copying every branch exactly, but I'm using the photo for ideas. I'm making smaller marks that mostly travel out from the tree, but I'm crossing lines over each other occasionally. I don't want every mark to stop at the exact same place or it won't look realistic. Some come out further, and there are some areas of negative space between sections that I'm leaving alone. On the tips of the branches, they appear a little thicker, so I'm going in with some stippling to add some texture. I'm still using the 0 .01 pen. I'm going to start working on the texture of the grass. In this area, it's going to be a really light value, and since I want to use horizontal marks for the water, I'm going to add those in, but I'll bring them into the space where they show up in between the light values of the grass. I think I'll switch to my 0 .005 pen to keep these values very light. I'll go ahead and continue these horizontal lines up through to the top of the water. Now I'm going to start using the 0 .005 to make some hatching and cross hatching to create the texture of the grass. I'm starting down here where it's a little darker and I'll extend a few lines into the area where the grass is a lighter value. I want to keep that area light, but I want to add enough lines so that you can still tell that that texture is part of the grass. Now 
You don't want to go in and make X's like this. If you do, it will look less realistic. You want it to look more random. Your hatching marks should be mostly a little diagonal and straight up and down and cross over each other in random places. I'll use the point zero 01 to draw in some of the twigs that are over here behind the grass, and then I'll use the same pen to work on building up some of the darker values around in the rest of the grass. I'm going to switch to a point zero 03 pen here, but I don't think I'll be using anything larger than that. Maybe if I was drawing this on a larger scale, that would be necessary. There's a small amount of clouds showing in the image. I was going to ignore them, but I think I'll add them in to show you how you can apply stippling. I'm using a .005 pen to do this. I'm going to work on the water again now. There's a little bit of land back here above the water. I think I'll use stippling for that. I'll use short horizontal hatching marks for the water that's closer to the foreground. And as the water moves back in space, I'll use wider lines. Now I want to go back into the tree with a point zero zero five to thicken up some of the branches. I'm going back in with a point zero zero five to clean up some of the grass. I hope that video was easy enough to follow and gave you a chance to try out some shading techniques with pens. Go out and use what you've learned and post pictures in the comments. I'd love to see them.